Hey, what's going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. If you could hear me, please give a quick like or comment below or probably do both because I can't see and I don't know if you can hear or see me unless you give me some feedback. I'm actually streaming this live from the hotel that I'm at right, right now, a golf resort in the mountainous areas of Japan. You can look outside right now. A little cloudy day today, uh, but we are at the resort. If you could take a look, this is what it looks like here. Um, if you guys want to see my room, how many of you, how many of y'all want to see my room and see what it looks like in Japan? I'll show you what the tatami room looks like. Uh, the time is 9.30 in the morning. We're watching some TV. You can see it's 9.33 in the morning here. So here are the two beds. Uh, and then we got the little area where you could sit. And then you got my wife running around. She don't want to be seen. <laughs> and then you got the tatami room. You guys know what the tatami room is? Is where you sleep on the tatamis here. And you put out the mattresses and you sleep in there. So that's a whole nother room with the traditional style Japanese sliding paper rice doors, which looks like this. It's called the Shoji. Very, very cool. Um, and we're here in the room just hanging out. We had breakfast. I sleep like that every day. That is awesome. <laughs> It's a great way to sleep, by the way. And if you guys are wondering what the hell, why I have this pink and white thing on my arm. I hurt my arm the other day playing with my daughter, and it's really bad. I, I damaged my rotator cuff about five years ago when I was living in Mexico. And I, I was playing with my daughter yesterday, two days ago. And um, I really hurt my arm bad. It's like I really, I can't even move it. So... I'm just hoping that it heals. I gotta put some heat on it as soon as I get home and um, and try to let that heal uh, because I need to get back to body work and start painting these cars. I got a couple of projects lined up. I'm headed back to Dallas tomorrow. I'm going back to Dallas tomorrow from Japan. No, I don't speak Spanish. And I'm surprised the audio, the video is so good. I'm surprised the video and audio is so good. I'm streaming from the hotel Wi-Fi, and this is probably one of the best Wi-Fi's that I've had in a hotel room. Like literally, can you guys see my video okay? Like is everything clear, the audio good, everything's good? Cause I'm getting like incredible reception here um, all through the night. And uh, I just said, hey, let me just do a YouTube live better than Comcast. Yeah, I was like, let me do, I, I have such great internet connection let me do um, a YouTube live for my for my people here. So anyway, um, I just wanted to say hi, good morning, good evening. If you guys are on the East Coast, it's about 8.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. Central there uh, for the Central Time guys. So yeah, so somebody just asked what's the best spray gun for newbies. I actually just did a blog post on that. I redid a post that I put up a few years ago and I added more information about spray guns and I added a couple different links. Um, and I say, what I say is the best spray gun for a newbie is what you can afford. Okay, so if you could afford, if all you can afford is a 30 or $50 spray gun, then you have to work with what you got, right? You have to play, play the cards that you're dealt with. Um, when I first started out, I started out with a $100 star spray gun. And I learned on that. It wasn't the best spray gun out there. You know, there was Sada's and there was Iwata's and all that. But that was my first starter spray gun. Um, and it sprayed fine. It, it sprayed fine. And, you know, to a certain extent, it it has to do with the gun. And then the other part is the painter. You could give a good painter a crappy gun. And he could probably still lay a pretty damn good paint job on it, okay? Because you could tell by the flow, by how the gun is spraying, you can compensate if you're a good painter. You know how to do it. Um, but I suggest if you, if you have a few hundred bucks, I would say pick up a medium-grade gun um, rather than the cheapos. At, like you see them at Harbor Freight or you see them online. 
for 50, 75 bucks, those cheap guns, because you really get what you pay for. Uh, the atomization sucks, the trigger pull sucks, you could feel the springs in the trigger pull when you're pulling it. And it's just the cheaply made style guns. And, uh, you know, they're just not the best quality. If you want to get really nice professional finishes, good atomization, look into a medium grade gun. And the reason why I created Zula, see our Learn Auto Body and Paint shop store is a new store now, it's called Zula.com. And the reason why I created that store was to basically help bring affordable, high quality tools to the masses at a at a better price point. So instead of paying a thousand to twelve hundred bucks for a SADA spray gun or a WADA, you can probably get the same quality spray gun for a few hundred bucks. And these are the guns that people that I'm partnering up with. I went to SEMA last year. I uh, hooked up with Adam. So Adam is, I've been testing those guns a few months ago. I have all the videos back home in Dallas, so I haven't been able to put up the video reviews, but I will be doing that as soon as I get home within the next few weeks. But the Atom is an incredible spray gun. Uh, I was promoting the Warwick line for a long time, uh, but after testing the, the Atoms, they are much more superior, better made quality, uh, a better atomization, and just an overall better gun, I think. But it's all up to you. You know, some people, they probably, I mean, and, and it all comes down to testing and trying and seeing for yourself. Uh, thank you, guys, Antonio. So it's all about testing and seeing for yourself. So you, some of you may have a SADA. I have a couple SADAs. I have a couple of WADAs. I have Warwicks. Um, and then I have the Atoms now. And uh, right now, that's all I'm going to start using moving forward are the Atom spray guns because not, on, not only are they affordable, they're high quality. And the rebuild kits are 50 bucks roughly for a complete rebuild kit. But you don't have to, people think you have to rebuild spray guns every year, every two years. You really don't have to if you take care of them. So that's that. Any other auto body questions um, besides spray guns? And if you go to Zula.com, Z O O L A A.com, you could check out the Atom line. They're actually on pre order. We stock them at the end of the month. So you can get a pre order discount. If you go to Zula.com, Z-O-O-L-A-A.com. And uh, we also have an awesome brand of Pearls and Flakes there. That'll be coming in soon. You could pre-order those as well. And, uh, and all that. So <clears throat> I'm glad I could come on today and say what's up to everybody here. Um, if you have any other questions, we need good painters in Chicago. <laughs> Any other technical auto body questions, type them in the chat right now and I will get back to you. We could we could go, you know, we could do some personal coaching here. I don't mind. <clears throat> How do I fix slightly shiny appearance on the area where you put bondo? Does it indicate the bondo is thick? What do I do? Can I just polish it? I don't get it. I don't get your question. I'm sorry. If you could try to elaborate a little bit more, that would be great. I don't get I don't get the shiny part with the bondo. I don't get it. <clears throat> so yes, I am headed back to Dallas tomorrow. It's gonna be cool. Get a lot of work done. I got a lot of work done on this trip. Um, working on a bunch of other things. I have other businesses online and uh, a lot of cool things happening. How do I sand a car hood to paint it? What is the best way to find a beginner painter to hire to get a cheap but decent paint job? Um, well, you could look on Craigslist or you could just try to paint it yourself. You could go to a body shop and if you prep a car yourself, you could go to a body shop and just say, hey, how much to paint it? They'll basically, um, you know, ask you, they'll basically have you pay them just to paint the car. Like when I was 16, 17 years old. I used to paint cars for body shops. Like they used to pay me 150 to 200 bucks. I used to go in, paint the car, and that's it. Go in for an hour and a half, two hours, done. They pay me the cash and I just go to the next body shop. I mean, I was cranking a couple grand a week doing that at 16 to 17 years old, so pretty cool. So do you guys wanna see two beautiful women? How many? Give me some give me some feedback if you guys want to see two beautiful women right now. 
I plan on painting my truck white. I have... So yes, you guys got to give me some more feedback than that. I need more feedback. If you guys want to see two beautiful women right now, I need a ton more feedback. And then, well, I have to put the lights on for this. So everybody's saying yeah. Oh, okay, so here are the two beautiful women. You guys going to say hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> So we, have, so we have one right here, and then we have another one right here. And they are in my room. My room. Who knows what happens here? Hello, ladies. Hello from Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, where else are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Shout out some areas. So we got a beautiful view outside. <laughs> New York. Hello from New York. Hi, New York. Los Angeles. LA. North yeah. Idaho. It's all destinations. Cool. <laughs> so no. So honestly, so this is my wife over here. This is my wife, Eddie. <laughs> and this is my sister-in-law, Maki. So this is family. This is not massage ladies that I hired to come into my room. This is my wife <laughs> and my sister-in-law. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I sprayed a 71 van three days ago. Can you please repeat that? I saw a, a comment of a 73 van and it disappears. Because I'm doing YouTube Live, the comment disappears in like a couple of seconds. Yeah, so try to keep your questions short because the shorter they are, I could, uh, I could answer them pretty quickly. If they're too long, then I can't. All right, so I mean, we're on, we're on for 13 minutes so far. So if there's no q and I'm gonna disappear. How can I get rid of the shape of the Bondo after painting? Well, that has to be done before you paint. The shape of the Bondo needs to be completely done and nice before. Wow, your question came in long and I still couldn't read it, guys. I'm so sorry. Spraying truck with orange pearl. It's important to use white base coat to enhance the pearl effect. No, it doesn't matter. If you're going to be doing an orange pearl, you could spray over an orange base, okay? Um, if you spray over an orange base, you're going to get a better pearl effect with your orange because you're going orange on orange. If you go orange on white, you're going to have to put a lot of pearl, like a really lot of pearl, to make that white appear and turn orange. Okay, you could also do that over silver. Um, but again, you need a lot of pearl when you're doing it that way. So I think if you're a complete beginner, it's better to put the same color pearl over the same color base. The same thing with candy, candy paint jobs. So normally, if you're doing a candy paint job, candy is best enhanced and shown when you're spraying over a, ba a silver base coat. Okay, so if you're doing candy red, usually you are painting over a silver base coat. But if you're a total beginner, it's really recommended to paint over a red base coat. So you would do a red base coat and a red candy on it. It's less prone to show your mistakes that way. If you're a can candy spraying expert and you know what you're doing and you know how to lay it on evenly, then you could spray over silvers. Are you guys getting this so far? The same thing with pearls. So if you're doing an orange pearl, pick out a nice orange. Um, I know the Dodge Prowler had a nice orange back in the day. Um, and I, I actually did a, um, a GTO, a 66 GTO. Sprayed a 71 van dimension base coat three days ago. Weather has not been good. Can I, can I clear four days before recoat base coat? Yeah, you can. What I would do is tack down your whole paint job, your base coat, 
and put another coat of paint on it and then do your two coats of clear. So I would lay another fresh coat of base coat on top of what you have and then lay your clear coat on it. So that's all you have to do. That's what I would do. Okay, you probably could get away with just tacking it down and shooting clear on it. But if you have enough paint to go around the car, tack it down, shoot a dust coat, you know, shoot a pretty a good dust coat around the whole car again, and then put your two, two to three coats of clear, whatever you decide to do. All right. So I hope that helps. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get back to the shop. I'm going to be working on the uh, number one is the the mini truck, the Daihatsu mini truck. How do I keep old half black paint bleeding through a white paint job? That question disappeared so quick I couldn't get it. If you could just put that in one more time, that would be great. Oh, my arm is really killing me bad. Mm, did they have clear coat in the 50s? Yep, very helpful. Uh, I'm not sure if they had. I'm pretty sure in the 50s they were spraying lacquer and single stage enamels. I don't think they were they had the clear coats like they do now back then. They might have had lacquer clear coat, but when I was growing up everything was all base coat clear coat, acrylic enamel and single stage enamel and that's what it is now. Um apart from your your waterborne. How long should a freshly painted car sit in the booth before taking it out? Um Stefan it also depends on what kind of paints you're using. Um, single stage enamel, 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours. Base coat, clear coat, depending on the clear coat, you could be dry in four hours, but I wouldn't leave it out in the weather. I would keep it under a garage for at least 24 hours. So you could, it'll probably be dry in four or five hours, dry to the touch, you know, where it'll be tack free and lint is not going to stick on it, lint or dust. But to be completely safe, I usually say 12 to 24 hours. I mean, you put all that work into a paint job, you could wait a day, right, to let it really cure, harden up without taking it outside. Um, I mean, there are plenty of times, ton of times where I painted a car, you know, got so excited by, in the morning, got so excited by the end of the day, take it home, you know, that many times. So you're fine, 12 hours to 24 hours. All right. How do I keep an old half black paint job from bleeding through a new all white paint job? Well, black will not bleed to white. You could paint white paint over black and not have a problem. Okay, you gotta be you gotta worry with bleeding with reds. Uh and also bleeding with putties, glaze putties not properly primed. Uh that's what you have to worry about bleeding through. But if you're painting a single stage over black, single stage white over black, it'll cover like like nothing. Same thing with base coat. Base coat will cover like nothing. If you're spraying a black, a white base coat over black, it covers right up. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, Jamie, you basically, you have two options. You could sand down to metal and prime it with a nice 2K primer and refinish it that way. Block it out with 400 and you're ready for paint. Or... You could sand, it depends on how thick your paint is also. You could sand, you could basically just sand out the cracks and then shoot a 2K primer over it and then finish it off that way. It depends on how bad the crack is. If you're dealing with 30 year old paint on a classic car, it's better to take it down, take it down to metal. Uh, put a nice epoxy primer over it, finish it, then put a nice 2K primer sealer on that finish that with 400 then you could paint base coat clear coat right over that or you could put a sealer on that and then and then paint over that it all depends on your budget how much time you want to put into it but in the end result if you use a, a good 2k primer that's all you need for it's it's a good foundation for base coat clear coat is a good 2k primer um prepped well you know no bondo bleeding through no uh, glaze putty bleeding through or any of that, all right? So it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I'm going to head out, guys. I have to go. Uh, we've been on for about 20 minutes. I got to go. I got my kids waiting for me. We're going to be doing some miniature golf right now and all that. I just wanted to get on and say hi. So for all you newbies on here, 
Um, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual download and um, enjoy the book. And I will see you on next week. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye. Okay, guys, say bye. Bye. Bye-bye.